Hi and welcome to a new Corpus tutorial. My name is Jan Urbas and today I'm going to show you how to turn on the lights. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to create a screen layer, which is something I have already talked about in the rain tutorial, but I'm going to show you again very quickly how to do this. So click on the new layer icon down here, fill your layer with a pure black color and set the blend mode from normal to screen, which will turn everything that's pure black into transparent. Now you could just as well start painting your light effects on a regular empty layer, but one of the reasons why I prefer to paint my light effects on screen layers is because it is a lot easier to see where you have actually painted when it's displayed on the black background. So let's start off by painting our outer glow. Um, and we're going to set the size of the brush to the size of the glow and make sure that it's very, very soft. So set the hardness to 0%. Then choose the color of your outer glow. And uh, depending on the atmosphere, what you want to create, uh, you can either choose a cooler or a warmer color. In this case, I want to create a rather cool atmosphere. So I'm going to choose this bluish color right here and then simply start painting uh, onto your screen layer to create your outer glow, just like this. Now the next step is already going to be our inner glow and I'm going to repeat what I've done before, create a new uh, screen layer, choose your brush, make sure it's a little bit smaller because we want the inner glow to be smaller than the outer glow make it a little bit more defined, so increase the hardness a little bit and choose a brighter color because the closer you actually get to uh, the middle of your light source, the brighter it gets. And then start painting your inner glow just like this. Then again, repeat what we've done before create a new screen layer on top of the two we've created before. And now to actually paint my light source, I'm going to choose one of my custom made flare brushes, but you can just as well choose a regular round brush and adjust the size of your brush to the size of your light source and make sure that it's even brighter. So in this case, I'm going to choose white and then simply start painting your light source uh, in the middle of your inner and your outer glow. Now, as you can see, if I turn off uh, the inner glow and the outer glow as well, this is a little bit too defined and too sharp. So to make it look more realistic, I'm going to apply a filter in this case, it's the uh, Gaussian Blur Filter, which you can find under the Blur Filters right here. And choose a radius around, well, let's say, four to five, four pixels in this case, to make it look more realistic. And one of the reasons why I actually painted each of my light effects onto separate layers is because I get to adjust the opacity separately. Now, if I feel that my uh, inner glow is a little bit too bright and it's a little bit hard to see my actual light source, I can always turn down the opacity right here, just like this, and maybe even turn down the opacity of my outer glow as well. Now, if I do this for all of my light sources in the image, it is going to look something like this. Now, we also want to uh, turn on our big stadium lights up here. And um, of course, we are going to start off with another big outer glow on a transparent or screen layer. So choose another big brush, make sure it's very soft and start painting your outer glow for the big stadium lights up here uh, with a matching color. So I'm going to choose the blue color again and simply paint your outer glow just like this. Now, uh, big stadium lights like this or maybe lights at a concert usually create a beam. 
So we are going to create our own beam using the polygon lasso tool after we've created a new screen layer on top of our outer glow. Um, and draw a shape similar to this. And then choose your brush and simply paint into your your beam just like this and make sure that you apply a little bit more pressure on the top and less on the bottom to make sure your um, your beam fades out the further you move away from your actual light source then deselect your selection and again apply the Gaussian blur filter to blur your beam and to make it look more realistic now I'm going to use um, a bigger blur than I did before with our smaller, smaller glow. In this case, I'd say something around 15, 16, 17 pixels will do. And again, repeat this step. Create a new screen layer. And draw a shape that's similar to the one you've drawn before, just make sure it's a bit smaller because this is going to be our inner beam. Choose your brush at a size that fits and a brighter color for your inner beam. Make sure you fade out and blur your inner beam as well. Now we want to blur less than we did before, so our inner beam is a bit more defined. And this is how you create your light effects.